Welcome back, everyone. I'm uh, previewing every game here in Week 5. This preview is for the game between the New York Giants and the Atlanta Falcons. This game will take place at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Both these teams are 2-2. Two and two. The Giants winning two games in a row here, the last one in blowout fashion, last Thursday night versus Washington. And, of course, Atlanta, two up and two down. They've won their two home games, lost their two road games. They sit at 2-2. Two and two. And for Atlanta, you know, they've struggled a lot here on the road. It was their second um, sort of resounding loss here on the road this season last week to Minnesota. And something you're seeing with this Atlanta team, I think, is not allowing them to travel well. And I think the first and foremost is they don't really get pressure on the opposing team's quarterback. And they're minus three in turnover ratio. So when you're turning the ball over, especially on the road, and when you can't get after the other team's quarterback, it kind of leaves you in a vulnerable position. We know this offense with Matt Ryan is going to put up points. But on the road, can they travel, put up points, and not turn the ball over? I think what would help Matt Ryan um, and his turnovers on the road is if they can get a little more of a consistent running game going. I'm not saying they have to run the ball for 150, 200 yards, but at least make that opposing defense be intimidated or scared a little bit of that running game. I mean, right now, teams are going into the matchups with the Falcons focused on their, their great receiving core and shutting them down, knowing that the running game, either they won't commit to it or they won't be consistent enough with it. So maybe they get a little bit more of a running game going here against the Giants because the strength of the Giants' defense all right, is that secondary. Where Prince of Mukamara, Dominique Rogers, Crow Marty, and Troll Roll and company. All right, that's the strength of their defense. So you have strength versus strength. The Atlanta Falcons receiving core versus the Giants secondary. Um, I think... This game, one of the big things this game will come down to is which front seven can put pressure on the opposing team's quarterback and force them into turnovers. You have Eli Manning, who looks like he's turning the corner in this offense. The Giants look very good, have, have looked very good the last two weeks in this new Ben McAdoo offense. Uh, Manning getting more time to throw. That's what it's all predicated with Manning is if he's given time to throw and he can find the open guy, he can deliver the ball. I think we have enough of a track record from both of these quarterbacks to know that you know when not protected, though, they can be prone to turnovers and high sack numbers because these are not guys that are going to get out of the pocket and elude the rush. So which offensive line can hold up here? Which running game can at least keep the opposing team honest? I think is going to be big. I think this is one of the better matchups of the weekend. I think these two teams are relatively even because I think you have a better defense for the Giants, a tick better offense um, for the Falcons. So uh, in this one, I think this game is going to be a nail-biter. I think this is a field goal game. I like the Giants to win the game at home, but I like the Falcons plus four and a half. Okay, the Giants to win outright, but the Falcons plus four and a half. Guys, let me know what you think. Hit me up in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter. Uh, be sure to subscribe. I preview every game every week. Always talking the NFL. Thanks as always for listening. Uh, you know, have a great week, week five. Uh, be sure to check out my other previews. Thanks.